At 7 a.m., the power went out. I got in the Civic, went up to Lowe's, and proceeded to buy a 250-pound generator. And guess what didn't fit in the car? So I went home and got the Accord. We jammed it in the back seat, got it home, down come 10 girls, and then we pull out the 250-pound generator, and we brought it up, set it on the front steps, and then proceeded to try to get it going. Long story short, and we still hadn't got the generator started, luckily the NSP guy comes in a big truck. Within a couple minutes, he flipped the switch, and we had power, and everybody screamed inside the house, and we were back to business. What Megan said was, hey, something always goes wrong at every wedding, and we just had it go wrong. So the rest of the day is gonna be beautiful, and, and actually the rest of the day has been beautiful. That whole situation was like a perfect testament to your guys' relationship that's going to be fostering from this point forward. You can prepare and prepare and prepare and plan and cross-check and have all of these lists as much as you want, but sometimes life can just take you in a direction that you would never think is possible. And in those grounding moments, look to each other and look to God and just get through it. And most importantly, find humor and live in those moments because that's life and that's real. I'm filled with joy when I look back on the journey we've had. I know our new adventure together will be totally rad. <laughs> so have fun and enjoy today as I put a new ring on your hand. With it, I promise that your future will be anything but bland. When you look at your new ring, remember you'll never be alone. For today, you marry someone with a weirdness as weird as your own. I've known Sean quite a while. We met in middle school playing hockey. We were on the C team. It's a good team. Uh, yeah. Stands for captain. No, it doesn't. Uh, I met Megan freshman year of college. These two had already met. They had their fateful night at the dive. It was like the week after. Megan comes up to me and she's like, Where's your friend? And I'm like, Well, I'll give you his number. You can call. So I gave her Sean's number and she immediately starts texting him. And I'm like, That's not going to work. He's not going to text, he's not gonna, he's not gonna text you back. Instead, I was like, we'll call him, you know, we'll see what he's doing, see if we can get him to come out. So that was kind of when I got an idea that she liked Sean. I'll never forget the first time I saw you, looking dorky on purpose in a group picture. I knew I had to meet you, and then I did. And I remember how you were constantly making me laugh. I love you so much, Sean. You have my whole heart. And as Jagged Edge so eloquently puts it, we ain't getting no younger, we might as well do this. Thankfully, your paths crossed at the beginning of your sophomore year, and you were ready to go on your first official one-on-one -on -one date to Charlie's Supper Club, where you were the youngest in the restaurant by four or five decades. Almost six years later, you got engaged at Frontenac State Park down by Red Wing. After climbing to the top of an ancient limestone rock that was used as a Native American wedding altar, I, Sean, take you, Megan. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death parts us. Until death parts us. I, Megan, take you, Sean. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death parts us. Until death parts us. It is my pleasure to introduce to all of you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Sean and Megan Nelson. It's been almost a decade since I first sat Megan on a broken futon and asked if she wanted to be Facebook official. <laughs> Which of course means, will you go out with me? It's also been nearly two years since we got engaged, but it really didn't quite set in for me until I saw this name tag, which says Megan Nelson on it. But I am so excited to spend the rest of my life with you as your husband. 